So here we're asked to give the systematic name a different compound. So first compound we have is Mg3N2. So this is an ionic compound. So we name our last parts of our anions with ide, and we name our cation with typically em. So in this case, we have magnesium nitride, and there's no need to directly uh, imply charges for non-transition metals since magnesium can really only have one charge. For our second part, we have KF. So you have potassium and fluorine. However, this would be fluoride as a result of it being an anion. So potassium fluoride. And in our third part, we have Na2O. So in this case, we would have sodium oxide. In our part D, we have Li2S. So these are all implied, so lithium sulfide. In part E, we have CSF, so CS is cesium. So we would have cesium fluoride. In our last part, we have Ki, so we would have potassium iodide. And this gives our final answers.